Hi, so this book is another one by Mo Willems in the Pigeon series. We've already read a couple. We, we read about how we can't let the pigeon drive the bus, how the pigeon needs a bath, and how he really wants a puppy, right? Okay, so it looks like the bus driver is going to need your help again in this book because this book is called Don't Let the Pigeon Stay Up Late. All right, so you need to make sure you're helping with this one. Don't let him stay up late. Don't let the pigeon stay up late. Oh, good. It's you. Listen, it's getting late and I need to brush my teeth. Can you do me a favor? Don't let the pigeon stay up late. Okay, so you're gonna have to help. Thanks. First of all, I'm not even tired. In fact, I'm in the mood for a hot dog party. What do you say? No. I hear there's a good show about birds on TV tonight should be very educational. What are you telling boys and girls? No. How about five more minutes? Come on, what's five minutes in the grand scheme of things? What? What? You know, we never get to talk anymore. Tell me about your day. Oh, I've got a great idea. We could count the stars. Can I have a glass of water? Studies show that pigeons hardly need any sleep at all. It's the middle of the day in China. I'll go to bed early tomorrow night instead. Hey, hey, ho, ho, this pigeon just won't go. Please. My bunny wants to stay up too. You can't say no to a bunny, can you? Remember that bunny, because you're going to see him in a different book a different day. Is he tired? Are you going to let him stay up late? Okay, that was not a yawn. I, I was stretching. I'm 110% awake. You haven't heard the oh, last of me. Zzz. Oh, great work. Thanks. Good night. What is he dreaming about? Hot dogs. Okay, boys and girls, that is the end of this book. And tomorrow, we're gonna read a book about the pigeon and hot dogs. All right, have a great day, bye.